Good morning, everybody. This is Mitch, 1814. Uh, uh, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just making a video today about uh, about my 1873 collection. Now, I know everybody's getting tired of hearing 1873, but it's it's a it's it's one of my favorite guns, in a pistol, in a long gun, in a rifle, an 1873 rifle or whatever it is, and it's just it's just my favorite gun, and uh, I really didn't know how many I had of just the 1873, whether it be a real, you know, a real one or a replica from, you know, a replica from the 1873 coat. So anyways, uh, my wife was at work. It's raining today, so we ain't doing nothing. So I snuck in, I stowed a bunch of stuff off the wall and put it on the kitchen table. I gotta try to get this cleaned up before she gets home. So anyways, cause uh, when she goes fixing supper, she's gonna be mad, she ain't got no place to put it. But anyways, uh, Kind of what we've got here, I've separated it out a little bit just so I can tell you a little bit about my collection. And, uh, and uh, but like I said, we'll go over here first. I'll just show you something kind of here on the end and uh, and we'll just kind of go from there. This is, uh, you know, like I say, I, as long as it's, as long as it's Western, eight, you know, 1873, I don't care what it is. As long as it's Western or old, I collect it. You know, this is just a portion of what I've got. Uh, I didn't put none of my 1871s and my 1850s or a lot of my older stuff, any of my 1894 Winchester rifles, none of my 1892 Winchester rifles, none of my 1860 Winchester rifles. Like I say, this is just a portion of my collection. And uh, uh, this is just my 1873 stuff. And I think we counted in my 1873 stuff which I've got a lot more of these, but these was actually around in 1873. So I put uh, so I put this out here just to kind of show you that that was around in 1873. But everything else on the table is actual model 1873. And uh, well, bottle of whiskey ain't, it's just out there kind of for show. And uh, you know, like some of the holsters and stuff, you know, not, you know, they was around in 1873. But uh, where I want to start here, is uh, this is an 1873 Winchester replica. It's made by U Birdie. It's got uh, it's got the tang side on it. Uh, it this gun is chambered in uh, this one is chambered in 4440, and it's a it's a real shooter, just all around great gun. And anyways, what I have next to it, this is my coat collection. Uh, I've actually got another one or two, but they, they, they're not in 1873 that are coats and I didn't put them out here, but this was my coat collection. This one here is a Buffalo Bill. Uh, this gun is a limited production. They had intended on making 500 of these. For whatever the reason, they stopped production. They ended up making 253 of these. It's, uh, it's 45 long coat. It is, uh, it's got a four and three quarter inch barrel. It's got gold inlay on it. Like I said, one of 253. Down below it is a second generation made in 1960. I've done videos on it before. Uh, it's in seven and a half inch barrel, chambered 45 long coat. It's the 125th anniversary. A lot of people don't realize that coat started in 1835. So this one been made in, 19, in 1960 is 125th anniversary. Like I said, seven and a half inch cavalry model, great shooter. Okay, below it, we have a first generation. It's made in 1920. It is chambered in 45 ACP. And I don't know whether through time, you know, a cylinder got lost, but we done a lot of research on them. They chambered them in a lot of different calibers. Uh, uh, Code actually chambered some of these, you know, uh, over in, I think, in 30 something different calibers, but you know, all around nice gun. It's a great shooter. Somebody took extremely care of that. I actually bought that off of a guy in Texas and he shipped it to me and just all around great guy. And uh, I hope he sees this video. Down below that, we have a St. Louis commemorative made in 1964. Made in 1964, there was only 200 of these made. It's chambered in 45 long coat, has a five and a half inch barrel. Okay, uh, down below it, we have a John Wayne uh, commemorative. It's a, it's a coat. It's made in, uh, I think this was made in the early 80s. 
They made 3,100 of these. Uh, genuine, genuine ivy, ivory grips, four and three quarter inch barrel. And I don't know, I've got a video, I think y'all seen it where I shot it for the first time. And, uh, and, uh, down below it, we have, uh, it's still, it's 1873 model. This gun is actually in 22. And, uh, just a great shooter. It's a Florida territory, made in 1972. And, uh, you know, like I said, chambered in 22, just, but still 1873 model. Down below that, we have, uh, I think that's, uh, I forget exactly what that gun is. I, I don't want to say nothing wrong on it. But anyways, it's, it's, a, it's a Colt. It's in 22. And, uh, down below that, we just laid a straight razor out there just, just cause, you know, that's probably, that's what most people shaved with back in. And, you know, that probably wasn't made in 1873, but, but we just kindly put it out there to show that that was around during, during this time period. Okay, then uh, next to my coat collection is, uh, this is another, it's, this is a U-Birdie. This is one of 250 with the big loop and engravings on it. I don't know if you can see the engravings. And we'll flip her over. But they was, uh, and I've shot this gun in a previous video, but they was, they was only 250 of them guns that, that were produced. Okay, and then we go to my Italian collection. Uh, it'd be hard for me to pick out which one's Taylor's, which one's Pieta, which one's Uberti, uh, but these are all my Italian guns. And some of these are actually, you know, in high demand, just like this uh, this George Patton. I think this one is a Uberti. It's dipped in sterling silver, chambered 45 long coat with four and three quarter inch barrel. Uh, they only made 2,500 of these. And you know, uh, to me, 2,500 out of all the million people, uh, the millions of people, billions of people in the world, 2,500 is a pretty low number. I don't, I don't care who you are. Okay, and down below that, we have got, uh, I might have did a little bit of this in a video. This gun here is a U-Birdie. It's got genuine stag handles. It's in four and three quarter inch barrel. Chamber and 45 long coats, got gold inlay in it. This gun is the Indian ter Territory gun. They only made 300 of these. This one, if you can see that, I think is number 40 of 300. They're a beautiful gun. I'd actually, I found this gun on Gun Broker. Uh, I bought it, I flowed around and I found number 258. For, and I bought it and give it to my son. That way we'd have a kind of a match pair of guns. His is 258 of 300. But you know, I figure we've got two of the 300. And you know, if another came up for auction, I would definitely try to buy it, but you, you just can't find them. I don't know where they're at. They're stuck in somebody's safe somewhere. This here's another U-Birdie. But this one, I, it's got a set of genuine stag handles. It's 45 long coat, four and three quarter inch barrel. Down below it, we have another U-Birdie. It is a 45 long coat, five and a half inch barrel. Down below that, we have what they call the Thunderer. It's a, it's 45 long coat, four and three quarter inch barrel. Down below that, we have an engraved model Thunderer that they call the Huckleberry. Actually, uh, my kids got me this for Christmas a couple years ago. It's, it's fully engraved. It's got the three and a half inch barrel and it's also chambered in 45 long coat. Okay, down below that, we have what they call a sheriff's model. It's got genuine stag handles, nickel plated, uh, all around great shooter, chambered in 45 long coat. Okay, down below that, we have, I, I, y'all seen me shoot this in several videos. It's, it's an evil Roy. This is an early model. It's, it's, 400 and something on the serial number. They only made 10,000 of these when Evil Roy retired from his uh, fast shooting. But anyways, this is one of my favorite guns. The action on it is just beautiful. And, uh, but anyways, okay, let's move back to the top. Here we have a, a, another Italian gun, seven and a half inch barrel. It's called, you know, the Calvary model. It's got genuine stag handles. This gun is chambered in 4440. And it's just an all around beautiful gun. I really do like it. Okay, down below that, 
Uh, Cimarron actually makes these guns here. Uh, this is what they call the rooster shooter, which Cimarron completely disclaims that this was modeled from John Wayne. They say that this was, uh, he got the idea from a bike rider. Uh, somebody come in on a motorcycle and he done some gun trading with, his name was Rooster. You know, I, I think he's probably fibbing, but you know, just so we don't have to pay John Wayne royalties or John Wayne's foundation royalties. But you know, I'll leave that up to the, leave that up to the courts and whoever. But, but anyways, it's a, uh, it's 45 long coat, four and three quarter inch barrel and just all around great gun. And I, I like it because it goes with my John Wayne collection, which y'all probably seen on there, my John Wayne collection. Okay, down below that, I don't know much about this gun other than I seen it, it was engraved, so I bought it. But it's uh, it's it's fully engraved. It's got complete coverage on it. it. It's a beautiful gun. It's in the five and a half inch barrel. And it's chambered in 45 long coat. And it's just, you know, I just like it, so I bought it. And, uh, but anyways, I, I, y'all can kind of see I've got a little bit of an addiction, but okay, down below that, is one of my another favorite guns for drawing. The action is just so beautiful on this gun. It's it's actually the action works smoother and is better than my coats. And you know, a lot of people might not want to hear that, but it is. That gun is smooth. I can hit with it. I can quick draw it. I can turn it. It's just like I said, it's it's a U birdie chambering 45 long coat. Uh, I distress this gun myself just because I like that look. Uh, okay, down below it. We have, even though this gun's got cold handles on it, um, it's it's a it's a U birdie chambered 45 long coat, has a five and a half inch barrel. I just uh, I didn't like the grips was on it, and I had an extra set of coat grips, and they fit it, so I put it on. I put them on there. Uh, so and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't I don't try to tell anybody it's a coat. I tell everybody it's a U birdie, but it's got cold handles on. It. I just you know as long as it suits me, I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, down below that, we have a uh, another, uh, I don't remember if Cimarron or who makes this one, maybe. But anyway, the hammer's made a little different on it. And uh, it's, got the, it's got the three and a half inch barrel. It's a sweet little gun, got beautiful action on it. I hated the handles that's on that gun. And uh, I was aimed to order a set and I was piddling around one day and I had this whole set of Ruger handles that come off of a black hawk. So I fashioned, I had to do a little bit of grinding, a little bit of whittling, a little bit of sanding, but I just, I fashioned them them handles off of a Ruger Blackhawk onto this. And I think it turned out pretty good. And I don't tell anybody that's a Ruger. I tell them what I done. You know, I don't try to hide anything. You know, it just what, what I've got, it is what it is. As long as it suits me, it's fine. Down and under that, we have, uh, of course, it's another Italian gun. It, uh, this gun is chambered in 357, seven and a half inch barrel. Calvary model, okay, um, you know, it's like I say, it's an Italian gun. Down below that, uh, I can't tell which is which. Uh, this is a beautiful gun. One of these, I can't see which one it is. Okay, uh, this one here, this gun here is chambered in, uh, in 357. It's four and three quarter inch barrel. I just, I just think it's. I, I like white handles. I like the brass on them. I just like that gun. This gun here is actually number nineteen off the assembly line. This come with a eighteen ninety two rifle here matching and four, chambered forty five long coat with four and three quarter inch barrel and just uh, you know is just a beautiful gun. I've never shot that gun, but we will shoot that gun in the video. But like I said, they just made. Just a few hundred of them. I can't tell you how many. Uh, I forget. I forget some of the stuff I know, and then I'll be sitting around just think of it, and remember it. But, but anyways, and then we have uh, we have what they call the bunt line. Uh, uh, this one here is chambered in 4440. Uh, it has a 12 inch barrel, and just you know, they're just I they're just you know just something else I like. 1873. This one is also, uh, this was uh, come in a match set. They've got a box and a case. This one actually has a detachable stock. I left it in the case. I didn't lay it out, didn't have room for it. But anyways, it comes in a box. It, I bought this in a box set. This is what they call the sheriff's model with it. Also chambered in 4440. And then what we have here, I don't know. I call it the super bunt line. 
This gun here is chambered in 357, has an 18 inch barrel, and also is available to, to put a to put a, a stock on. But anyways, or it can just be a pistol, they're just long. Okay, this one here is a fixed stock, 1873, with an 18 inch barrel. They're just all a kind of, kind of neat gun. I think uh, Kurt Russell used one in the Hateful Eight. They're just, yeah, they're, they're just neat. Okay, then left of this, we have my Ruger collection. Uh, this is all my Rugers that I've got that are in 1873 model. Uh, this one here, this is a, is this an old model or new model? This one here is actually what they call the new model. It's chambered 357, nickel plated with stag handles. Down below it, we have, I did a video on that, and actually my kids did a video with that gun making fun of me. You know, today we're gonna shoot 22 is what my daughter said. But but anyways, this is a Ruger. This is an old one. This one's made in the 60s. All around good shooter. And just, you know, not a high dollar gun, but I just like it. Down below that, and Ben's it was hanging on my wall, this is actually my wife's gun. She sits around. She's getting pretty good at twirling it and spinning it and cocking it back. She's been practicing, but this is actually her gun. This is a Ruger Wrangler. It's a uh, 22. Uh, I don't know if the barrels, what the barrels, what was that four and a half inch barrel probably? I don't know. Then anyways, uh, down below that, y'all have seen these. I did a video on these. These are my old model, match set of Ruger Bequeros with stag handles. And they're just, uh, they're really good filling guns, good drawing guns. And, and anyways, they're in, uh, they're actually in five and a half inch barrel, which I said in a previous video when I was drawing these, that uh, four and three quarter inch barrel, I miss, you know, I just got caught up in what I was saying, said it wrong. But the the four and three quarter inch guns draw better to me. They draw quicker. You can get them out of your holster a little quicker. Five and a half, you know, just a tick slower, but I still like these guns. I can move these guns pretty good in and out of the holster. But anyways, moving on down there, uh, this right here is a, uh, is a, uh, Ruger Vaquero in 45 long coat with white handles and it's another all around great gun. Uh, down below it, we have a 32, uh, a 32. Uh, they call these the baby Vaqueros, uh, all around neat guns or 32 Magnums. I have one in regular handle. I have one in bird's head. And not to take away from any of these, I also have one and blued with black handle, 32 Magnum. And like I say, they're just they're just all around great guns. Uh, they're easy, if you want a fast draw with them, you know, unload them. You know, they're, if you want to kind of learn with a lighter gun, they're a little lighter gun and you can, you can just get them out quick. You know, that wasn't very quick, but I'm just kind of showing you just kind of like, you know, I ain't even got a hoster, I'll just pull down my hand, but you can kind of, like, you know, you can just pull them out or if you want to do them here, you can, you know, but anyways, like I said, be a great gun to practice with, but like I said, my wife's been practicing with this 22 and she's getting pretty good with it. She's a, she's great at spinning it and just, uh, she's not got the draw on yet, but you know, anyways, like I said, just all great gun. But anyways, I don't want to keep y'all all day. I, I'm just, uh, I just kind of like want to show you some of my, just some of my 1873 stuff. And, and I kind of got to wondering myself how many I had, but. But anyways, uh, it's kind of ironic because 45 long coat is uh, 45 long coat is my favorite caliber, and I got my 1873 stuff out. And you know how many of them I've got? I've got 45. And I don't know how that happened. But anyways, I got 45 1873s. So in, in my favorite caliber, and I've got so many that you know. And some people ask me, say, how many you gun? And like I've heard people say it before, they say, how many guns you got? And uh, I say, I got one less than I need, you know? But I, I've kind of slowed down. I'm gonna have to slow down or I'm gonna have to get a bigger house or I'm gonna have to start stick, sticking them somewhere. But but anyways, y'all, uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some of my 1873 stuff. And uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And y'all always remember, everybody's got something, you know, everybody got something in their life going on you don't know nothing about. Kind of be kind and courteous to everybody and 
you know, just just make kind remarks. You know, uh, you know, life's hard enough without without having to dealing with smart aleck people or or rude comments or whatever. And like I said in previous videos, the best way I know how to answer the people that's giving you them is just kill them with kindness. Just smile, say something nice, and walk on. And there's times that you can't do that, but but you know, for the most part, you can. But you know, but I'm a firm believer. If it goes too far to stand your ground and take care of it. But I would rather just kill them with kindness and go on. But anyways, like I said, y'all like and subscribe and just tune in and we'll keep trying to make these videos. I'm not gonna shoot any today. It's kind of raining and nasty outside. It's too cold for me to be out. But but anyway, like I said, y'all tune in, we'll make you another. Y'all have a good day and bye.